Hello everyone, I'm Brandon with Lenovo and I'm here today with the ThinkStation P300 Tower Workstation. Today we are going to be replacing the Flex module. This process will take about 15 minutes and it should be easy enough for anyone to do. There are no tools required to do this. Before we continue, we need to make sure that we are protected from electrostatic discharge or ESD. Make sure to shut down the computer and disconnect all cables and accessories from the system. For further information, watch our Understanding Electrostatic Discharge video by clicking the link in the description. Now that we're ready, let's get started. In order to remove the cover, we must first remove two thumb screws. So now we just need to press inward on the release button, slide the cover towards the rear of the system, and remove it. Disconnect the power button cable from the system board. Next, we're going to remove the front bezel. You just want to press outward on the three clips to release them. Now we're just going to swing the front bezel open like a door, pull the cable through the hole in the front of the chassis, and remove the bezel. To remove the flex module, we must first disconnect the cable from the system board. Then we need to disconnect the SATA and power connectors. Now we're going to press the blue release button and slide the flex module out from the bay. Now we're going to remove the bracket from the flex module and set it aside. To remove the flex module cover, you just want to press upwards on this metal release lever, slide the cover back, and then remove it. To remove the card reader, you just want to pull up on this black tab, slide the card reader back, and remove it from the flex module. And here we have our replacement card reader for the flex module. When replacing the card reader, you just want to lay it down into the flex module and then press down and slide it forward until it locks. To replace the flex module cover, you just want to align the cover with the flex module. You might have to press down, it'll be a tight fit. And then you wanna check back here and make sure this cable isn't about to get pinched. And once that's fine, you want to slide the cover forward until the lever locks into place. To remove the slim optical drive, you just want to press the black button, the drive will slide out, then you can pull it out and remove it. And here we have our replacement slim optical drive for the flex module. Now we just need to align our new optical drive with the bay and slide it in until it locks. Now we're going to attach the bracket to the flex module. To replace the flex module, we must first thread the cable through the hole in the chassis. Then we need to align the module with the bay and slide it in until it locks. Now we just need to connect the power and the SATA connectors. Now we need to connect the cable to the system board. Next we're going to place the bezel onto the system. First we want to feed the cable through the hole in the chassis. And I'm going to reach on through the other side. pull the cable the rest of the way through. Now we just need to align the hinges with the holes in the chassis. Once you have those lined up, you can just close the bezel like a door until it snaps into place. Now we're going to connect the power button cable to the system board. Now when replacing the cover, you want to assure that the tabs on the cover align with the slots in the chassis. So you just line those up and then press the cover forward until it locks. And finally, we need to replace two thumb screws. 